Hello, hello, everybody. Welcome back to another video on Racks of Riches. It's been a minute. Hope you're all doing good. And before we forget, because it's been a while for us to be recording, um, here's the here's the intro. We have to complete all missions at least once. Purchase all the highest priced businesses and fully upgrade them. Complete all possible free mode objectives. Own three high-end apartments customized to our liking. Must own three militarized vehicles. We cannot do anything off camera. We cannot spend any money on the game. No money glitches. Stay connected through the DeadVex Discord and join the crew to play with us and others. Alright, back to the video! Alright, now welcome back. And I don't know what we're going to be doing in this video. We just wanted to get on and have a good time. So, how are you, bro? It's been a minute. I was waiting for my fucking introduction, bro. What the fuck? Um, we're here now. What, what do you hi. want from me? Hi. hi, everyone. I have a voice today. <laughs> Um, <laughs> yeah, we checked the last video and you had no voice because you were sick. Yeah, I didn't know that was the last one. I thought we recorded since then. I did too, um, to be honest. But yeah, so vibes. Um, hello to everyone in chat. I don't know. We've already been speaking to you guys, but still. Um, but yeah, we're streaming <laughs> as usual. He is streaming. I am not. Well, I am. I am. Ethan and... doesn't stream. To be honest, I, um, I... Okay, that's not fair. I do sometimes. Not really. Yeah, but you don't really stream stream, like, do you? You, ne you never stream the episodes. I have a few times, but I, I think it's just easier for us to not split up the chat. I gotta sneeze. Yeah, true. <laughs> that's, like, my main thing behind it is there's no point in splitting up the audience. <sighs> God damn it. Sorry. So everybody just stays in the same chat and it makes things easier. Gives you more watch time, gives the videos more watch time. I think it works out better. Feels like charity. Um, <laughs> right. So if you want to look at uh, it, like that, sure. Yeah. Uh, a joke that I do want to address that ah. you made in. I, I know this isn't the last episode, but if you guys haven't already, because I know you guys are watching on you know Thingy's channel, um, go and watch Fuck like sick. all the other stuff he's doing, the Minecraft series that he's doing. Go watch my Minecraft series I'm doing. Um, on my new YouTube, please link it down below. I will. I need, I need so, thank you. Um, <laughs> anyway, um, what, what, what was I saying? Um, oh yeah, the Dying Light videos. Yeah. Um, the first Dying Light video, you did a, you made a joke in it, saying that I'm from the only series that's ever actually done well on your channel. <laughs> from yeah. the scenes of it, your Minecraft series is changing that, bro. A little bit. I actually like. I narrowed it down for a single video and figured out how to get that ranking for a keyword in Minecraft. It was just like a right timing thing. It's not mm -hmm. popping off so far, anything close to like what the first video of Rex to Riches did. But at the same time, yeah, it is. It took, it's doing better in a short period of time. In a short period of time, yeah. If you think back to the first video, it took over a month to get to a thousand views. I We uploaded it like four weeks to three weeks before I flew out to San Diego to meet with my with my best friend. We recorded then two while or three episodes, there. didn't we? Yeah. Yeah. We were like a th like four episodes in or something. Maybe eight. I don't know. And then it no, hit it a thousand like views. Because it wasn't until we got to episode... Oh, God. When was it? It's so blacky. Was it episode like eight that we turned around and said something? And it was, it like, was like... we were Yeah, like we, we went and like we were confused as fuck. Just the fact that we had 10,000 views on the first video. <laughs> yeah. I would kill for just 10,000 views on one of my videos. I'm not going to lie to you. If I get clothing, I'm going to shoot somebody in the head. Thank you. <laughs> Honestly, yeah. I, like, I just, I, I don't really care that much about numbers, but it's nice to see feedback and you only see feedback when you get larger numbers like that. So, yeah, that's, that's what I love about it. I mean, it. the thing is now is that with, um, uh, with the whole thing of YouTube removing the dislike, button oh my god the, the only way that we can tell if somebody doesn't like something <laughs> is by quite literally being told in the comments that it's shit <laughs> do you got the cut oh. <laughs> you were talking shit about me the other day when we got on computer for a little while just messing around i was like hey Watch me get the same luck I have on GTA 5, or GTA Rex Riches. And you're like, nah, son, I'm the only one that gets cars. And look at me now, Papa, I'm making the big isn't that, moves. Isn't that the second time you've gotten a car? On here, it's like the second or third time, yeah. 
Yeah, I've only got it once, and it was the most expensive non-militarized vehicle, so get on my level. <laughs> hey, the car that I'm driving yeah. now is, like, the best car I could have asked for for this, and this ah, is now a off, good mate, car, too. Shut up. I also <laughs> <laughs> want to acknowledge the fact oh. I... I was going to continue using the face cam on the series, but I genuinely just forgot it and I can't be asked to set it up right now. So whatever. Maybe later. Oh, actually, speaking of which, um, I don't know if you're going to go through the effort of going to grab this from what? my stream, but I do oh. want to quickly show something on my stream. <laughs> Hold up. Let me um, let me move the thing so that I have you popped up. Okay. So for those there of you, you that don't know, my birthday's in February. Um... I'm not going to date mark the video, but it was my my birthday is the seventh, right? And it was a, it was a few weeks ago now. On my birthday, my cousin, who I've spoke about before, who's like my oldest of my cousins on my mum's side, um, when he was younger, he basically used to sit here and play GTA on my on my Xbox when he was like three, um, and then. He wasn't allowed to go on it anymore because he kept trying to drive on pavements and hit people. <laughs> now, justifiably so, he's not allowed in GTA. But he's recently started getting into watching GTA stuff. And he's now, he's turning eight this week. <laughs> now, for my birthday, I didn't know this, okay? But he started watching the Rags to Riches series about a month ago. And I didn't know, but then his dad came into his room. He, my my cousin didn't even know it was me, by the way. He didn't clock it, right? Um, but then my cousin, no, my uncle pointed out to him that he was watching me because he was hearing my voice and he was confused because I wasn't in the house, right? <laughs> so then my uncle told him that it was me. And now my cousin thinks I'm a fucking legend, by the way. So hey. he made me this for my birthday. Let me just grab it. <laughs> okay I, I i have no idea where this is going okay so he made me this for my birthday <coughs> right now literally it says game by here the g fell off right? <laughs> it says game but then instead of it saying gta it says jet because that's how we thought you spell gta oh <laughs> and then there's a massive five so <laughs> thank you for that max um, I know you're going to be literally fucking years away from getting to this episode, but still. That's that's awesome. <laughs> that's really cool, actually. So I thought that was cool. I thought it was pretty cool. Um, but yeah. All right. So that, that's that. into the game now real quick, not to cut you off. That was really cool. Um, I'm thinking about... It was about, a wholesome moment. It was. I'm thinking about getting a agency so that we can do the Dr. Dre missions. Are you cool Sorry, with that? Sorry, fucking what? An agency. I thought you said an Asian scene. Yes. That, um, it's a good, it's fun. They're fun missions and you can get over a million dollars. So. Like I'm it, more than happy to do them. How much money do you but have? I personally hate them. <laughs> okay. Well, I don't want to do something that you hate. If there's anything else that you have in mind, uh, how much I money did, do you I have? did it once and the cutscenes in itself painful okay well it was an idea how much money do you have uh just under 900k why do i have so much more than you what the f what did you buy in the you last your, you have your prime connected to your account and you you, you have that not a different account i don't i can't speak holy yeah. shit i think it just had a it's stroke okay well that's interesting what did you buy? Uh, did you buy something recently in, in like one of the other videos? Uh, did I buy the tuna shop? It's been like five months. I've, d I've slept since then. Yeah, I I'm the one know. with the tuna shop. I can see it. You want to do that? I don't know what that does. I think we've still got a mission to do on that. All right, let's do it. But I feel like it's only like 100k. I mean, if you want to get the agency. I'm not bothered about it, really. Like, honestly... I think instead of focusing directly on the boring stuff, more or less, that if we just have fun, it'll be more fun for people to watch. 
Like, I like the idea of getting things yeah, done as sure. efficiently uh, as people, possible. Yeah, sure. People, let us know down below if you prefer us actually making money or just chatting bollocks. That is a topic and question that I was going to bring up to people. It's like, what do you find? Oh, no, it's your auto shop. What the hell? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, I remember this. The guy with the lemon head was bullying me over here with a ray gun. <laughs> okay. Yeah, and I wasn't able to say anything funny. Because you were... I wasn't able to speak. Yeah, you couldn't speak. You didn't have a voice. <laughs> yeah. Oh, shit. Yeah. Um. Huh. <laughs> oh, bro, I can repair my car for free in here? That's my dope. Okay. Everything froze on Elgato, so I'm going to have your stream uh -huh. up for now, since I've had that been recording. <laughs> I've had that recording, so at least we have that. Hi, guys. Uh, I'm going to stop that recording. I'm going to refresh. I just oh, wanted no. to feel cool. So this is what I look like when I stream. I'm glad I, I have your stream up because that would have been a shitty yeah. thing to have to edit. Why? Why did it crash? <laughs> I like when I went <laughs> to move it from one monitor to another, that's when it crashed. Um, don't know. Just get good. Just need better equipment. This stuff is old and outdated and broken. <laughs> yes. Yes, you do. You indeed need better equipment. Yep, that's a fact. Okay. Recording that. Let me sync it again. We need a new Xbox. That's what we fucking need, mate. Yeah. I also would have to get a new capture card. <laughs> yeah, okay. same. Theoretically, theoretically, everything should be back on my screen. If not, then... I don't know. I've got backup on your footage, If at the very least. Here's a good plug to go check out Broken's Twitch so you can watch this live. Follow him so that you see notifications when this is live and other stuff that he does as well. Um, what do we do here? I Up to the board. Yeah, okay. It's like high setup things. Okay. Uh, the robbery. Ooh. Uh, oh, is there anyone that needs to be invited? Oh, never mind. I, it, well, it will bring us into a loading screen thing, right? Where I can invite people? I don't, no, I think it does it like side, because I just heard the things. I think this is free lot, uh, free mode. Oh, well. It is what it is. Yeah, it is. <laughs> people always seem to ask what our cars are. They, they have taken oh. a liking to your car specifically, I think. My car? Yeah, what is uh, it? My car's the Krieger, I believe. I'm oh, my, Yeah, mine's the Benefactor Krieger. Mine is the Ocelot Locust. So that's what that is. Is my paint job becoming iconic in the GTA scene? Is that what's I happening? I think it has. Because I've seen, <laughs> like, back when we first got these cars, uh, people were asking a lot what car you were driving. Yeah, I've got the Benefactor Krieger. Okay. <laughs> Did you see that? Yeah, I'm looking at your stream. Okay, I just hit. What even? I don't know. Oh, it's my hood. I hit a tree. Yeah, and so my it's, car it's the just Benefactor fell apart. Krieger. Um, it's pretty cool. It's fast. I like it. I don't own it on my main account. Yeah, I don't own this car on my main account either. I have. I have. I still a, don't own I have two cars. One. I don't know really what it is, to but get. I really like it. There's one car my that I have car. on my main account that I, I use everywhere and I like it. And I will never... I'm sticking to my guns. I'm never going to buy a... Uh, what's it? What's it called? Don't worry, bro. I got you. <laughs> oh, you didn't even take him with you, bro. I thought you did. I was so proud for a second. I'm yeah. fine. Fuck you, pussy. Alright, fine. I'll let you. Pussy, oh, fine. Because I don't want to. What the oppressor mark two? I'm never buying that, or the mark one. Kill yourself. I have it. Yeah, I know. I'm never buying it. <laughs> I'm a main account over this. Never buying it. It's hey, not gonna be look, a thing. I I'm not toxic with mine. I people get confused when they see me. Yeah, no. It's like it's very rare to find the people who have that and don't abuse it. But it's just the simple fact. It's overpowered and I don't like it. Yes, I do have a bit of a of a thing that I hate about it because a, of episode a one. History. A history. Yeah, I have a little bad history yeah. with it. But 
it's, you know, it makes sense to have a bit of bad vibes with it because it's the one vehicle that every single person has. Almost all of them are toxic. It ruins the game, makes it too easy. If you buy that, there's absolutely no purpose whatsoever to have any other vehicle in and, the game. You know, you did have like 10,000 people roasting you for not being able to use the Mark 1. Yeah, well, that's besides the point. <laughs> oh, we're going to get blown up by the suppressor. You see? Welcome to my point. No, he's in our thing, I think. Maybe, maybe not. He's like, no, you haven't invited anyone to ask of you. I did invite the crew and everybody when we were loading, but. Yeah, no, I'm I'm not I refuse. I refused. I refuse. There's no point in getting any other vehicle. Like if you have that, that's like an end game vehicle. <laughs> There's no other point to ever bring anything else out. Unless you just want oh, to. Oh no, there is, because I've got one and I just like driving as well. Yeah, that's like the only thing. What are we doing by the way? I'm trying to lose the police. So. <laughs> Union Depository park here? parking lot. Huh. Okay. Did I don't know if we finished the topic, but like, for those of you that are still watching, all the people that are here are the ones that actually care about the series, which I appreciate you. Um, what do you actually find fun about these videos? Is it just us screwing around talking shit, or do you want to see so, us what, accomplishing what about other stuff? Content that we do. Watch that. You in inconsiderate <laughs> asshole. I mean, what? <laughs> Like, if it's just us talking shit and playing the game, if it doesn't really matter... Oh, you have to use GTA. the thing on the... Oh, yeah, map. I remember this. This is... Oh, this is very easy to screw up. I can't... Yeah. There it is. Hold on. Oh, I know what was happening. Yeah, I remember we this. We had idiots with us last time. Yeah! I rem yeah. I remember that. I remember now. It's gotta be this car. It's the only nice car there. It's a Porsche. Yep. What did I say? All right, what do we do now? Oh, okay, we trace him. <laughs> he just ran into a wall. So I'm assuming... Oh, yeah, detection's going up. We gotta get back. Yeah, I know. I'll just, just pull in the way. Alright, there we go. We see him on the map, so we don't even have to be close. But yeah, if it's just us screwing around, like, let us know. If, if you want to be seeing us, like, doing more productive stuff to actually get our goals achieved also let us know like what is it about this that you guys like because really i'm thinking that if we just start having more fun with it then it'll be more enjoyable but that's that might pinder pin, that's not the word it might cause issues with us getting more things done you see what i'm saying you see you see what i'm saying yeah. What is happening? <laughs> what? Why aren't we dead? I don't know. <laughs> what even? How? Uh... What? Um. How are we not dead? <laughs> what? 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 <laughs> I'm so confused. Did that cancel our thing? Yeah. Figures. Uh, um. It's just two guys. How? <laughs> How did that work? Exactly. Right. <laughs> That's what I want to know. At least Chopper's meant to blow up on one, and we got hit about ten times on chain. There? <laughs> that was more like a dozen. Hmm. The thing is, is that he kept hitting us. I just kept trying to stabilize the, the Chopper. Yeah, I mean, we're smoking, but we're not blowing And somehow, up. I, we didn't blow up. Right. I just fucking land. Oh, God. Oh, oh God. Don't kill me. <laughs> All right, I have invited people to the thing. So if they don't join by the time we start this again, it's not my fault. Not my I fault. Am... Not my fault. questions about that. I am very confused, but I'm really not even going to question it. 
as, they, as long as they don't do it again. Huh. <laughs> well, that happened. Yet Five again. No blitz. Yet again. GTA 5 Online, folks. You gotta love the Oppressor Mark II. <laughs> Didn't ruin the game or nothing. <laughs> I remember when I thought the Deluxo was out of hand. <laughs> yeah. You remember those stupid outfits that they brought along with the first heist? Like the black one that has like the stupid motorcycle helmet thing on it? It was like that used uh, to be... It's just the basic outfits now. And there's so much variety now that like it doesn't even matter. Remember when the armored okay. Kuruma used to be something that people were like, oh, this is a bit fucked. Yeah. People actually like drove that everywhere, thought it was good. Now I the armored Kuruma can be destroyed with like two explosives. I don't think I've seen that car in use in like five years. <laughs> like I since, it, since a year after week. it came out. Really? Um, yeah, Lautner was driving it. <laughs> yeah. He he bought it, he pulled up in front of me with it, and I laughed, and I was like, why have you got an armor Karuma? <laughs> he was like, it's cool! And I was like, sure, bro. <laughs> <laughs> so, for a little bit of context, you've been playing GTA 5 on the computer, and our friend yeah. Lautner, who's also part of Mindful, which we are part of, so go check out those videos, and I want to continue making more videos on there with you. I don't know. I know you haven't been on there in a while, but I think it'd be fun to do more stuff on there. But Lauder's on there. My cock's a bit fat. Okay. All right. It's been hard. <laughs> All right. So, uh, yeah. He's, he's, a, he's a good guy. He's fun. He's just a noob to GTA, so it's funny. It's very funny. Armor Karuma. Uh, all right, well, I oh my god, I'm getting motion sick by the way you're flying. <laughs> Jesus Christ, so like that little uh, not really. No, no, nah, I don't think you would. <laughs> How did well, we lose him so quickly last time? Did you call Lester? No, I thought you did. No, I was about to. I mean, if we just sit here, I'm sure we'll be fine. I can get Lester up on the phone in case we need to. I wish there was a way to speed dial. <laughs> Even if it was like audio tracking, like on PC. Oh, well, let me just fly. Will you just say like, call Lester and it does it? Yeah. Cool. I am so close to level 69. <laughs> you can fly now. There you go. <laughs> I think it's a lot more enjoyable and a lot less stressful to uh, not worry about the time in the video and just not worry about what we're doing in the game, just play. Because, like, there for a while, yeah. I felt like, for me, it was getting less fun because I was so worried about getting as much done and being as entertaining as possible. But now it's just, like, with the idea of being more relaxed and having a good time on the game again. Because we, I, I've taken a lot of time off the game. I've only just recently started playing it a little bit offline with my friends. For so me, I think it's, it's more. For me, it's more the case of it's impossible to get stuff done in an hour session. And the bigger <laughs> things felt so daunting to try. Yeah, um, I can't pull the thing out. You got to you gotta get Sorry. closer. <laughs> I'm going side of the circle. Oh, I'm in the wrong seat. That's why. God damn it. Pull over to the parking lot. Or the highway. Overpass. Road. Whatever this is. Fuck if I know. I can repel. I didn't even realize it put me in that seat. Alright, let's try that again. Oh god, I thought that bus was about to hit us. <laughs> it's not a bus. What are you on about? Truck. Looked like a bus for a second. Don't know what buses you're getting in, mate. I don't know. Don't Wheels on the bus go round, round and, and round, round and round, round and round. I need to do like a karaoke <laughs> video of just the amount of times that we've sang random songs. I wonder if we'd actually do a karaoke video. Okay. Do you think I, I would bang? <laughs> Not really. 
Why does this thing keep ideas. on changing? I'm literally keeping on target, I feel like. There's so many video ideas that I've got that I can't do because I don't have enough people to, like, do them. I want to do VR chat. I want to do VR chat. Have you seen those um, videos, right? Like the Minecraft experiment ones where they have, like, 200 people on an island or something like that. 200 people play and they, like... <laughs> It's like a civilization, basically. No, that's like sick. social experiments. Huh. <laughs> it's quite a it's few like the Vault like from really Vault Bro, I want to do stuff like that. I think it'd be a good laugh. That and would I've got be so helpful. many ideas for like different things you can do with that. Hey, Lion, hey, then. Okay, have I not scanned every car here? Jesus Christ. Well, let me scan the blue Porsche. There we go. Freaking palm tree in the way. Yeah, I swear if it's this one again, I'm going to be mad. Oh my god! <laughs> Son of a bitch. Alright, there we go. Is it always the blue Porsche? I don't know. Probably. I tried looking at it several times and it wouldn't let me. Why do I have an ad for something with... What movie is this? It's got the freaking... Bucky. Speaking of Bucky in it. Movies. Movies. Yes. <laughs> what movie are we talking about? Spider Man. I knew it. I knew you were gonna bring that up. Did we No, it wasn't even close to being out in the last one. No. <laughs> Trailers weren't even out for it then. Oh my god. <laughs> You're right. Shit. Or if they were, we weren't talking about them on video. Yeah. Well, no, we would have talked about trailers. I've got a very unpopular opinion. You didn't like it? With the film. No, I like the film. But... it would I wouldn't have considered it a good film if it weren't for the cameos. Are we talking about the villains being cameos as well, or...? Just the yeah. other the other couple. I think if those villains weren't cameos. I wanna say Willem Dafoe um Defoe as Green Stole Goblin. The show. Oh my, that was he was so good, bro. He so stole the good. show easily. I but, think him and Andrew were like the two best in the in the film. Easily. Yeah. I think Andrew was better in that film than in his two Spider Man films. Oh yeah, personally. Well, I I, I, I think, think I think the same with Toby. I think that the first Amazing Spider-Man film is one of the better Spider-Man films, outside of a few of the things that the studio required because like they wanted to sell toys and shit. But like Mark Webb's vision, the the director for the first one was great, and then they went in a completely other direction for the second one and basically ruined it. But Andrew's portrayal of the character is great in my opinion and then he just stole the show like you can tell how happy he is to be there yeah. in, in the new one Every, i feel like everybody like everybody's already already known it's already been spoiled it's already been talked about everybody's seen it if you have let us spoil if you, this for you right, if, if you haven't seen it at this point it's been two months it's been it's been long enough if you haven't seen it it's your fault we're going to talk we about spoke about endgame a month after yeah it's been two months, man. Like, just, you know. We're going to talk about the way, it. So for me, I think if it weren't for the cameos, I don't think it's nearly as good of a film. Okay, I need to look for the people, I think. So. Nah. Are they down below or up top? Balcony. 100%, that's got to be them. Bank you manager. thought it was a great film? I don't, I don't think it was a bad film, but if it went for the cameos, I would have thought it was... Yeah. I, it yeah. was it was a good... It was, if, like, you remove the cameos from that film, and I think the story overall was quite... There is. You know, it, it's very heavily reliant on... On the... Well, you're going to have to take a photo from... I was kind of waiting for yeah. it to... Come on, how many you photos do I have to take? Wait for the incriminate himself before taking the photo. There it is. 
He's he, physical contact. Come on. That's got to be close enough. Yeah, you've done it. It says wait for it to contact us. Yeah. No, Have I so seen Uncharted? Yes. I haven't seen Uncharted yet. Don't ruin it. Un um. All I'll say about Uncharted if it is if it wasn't for Tom Holland and Mark Wahlberg being in it, I wouldn't have liked the film. Yeah, I've heard that. Night, honestly, expected that. They they carried it. I completely. expected that. I mean, that's kind of the and point goes, of the main actors, to be fair. Yeah, but I, it went against the games. Nah, well, you can't expect it to be perfect if it movie portrayals are never gonna match what you play. Yeah, but it went against on quite a fucking dramatic. I've thing, never played like, the games. I haven't played like them Tom yet. Holland, Tom Holland's character is meant to be older than Mark Wahlberg, bro. <laughs> What? Yeah, like his character, the character Tom Holland played, is meant to be the older one of the two. I they thought, reversed the roles. I swear. I thought that the what's his what's the what's Mark's name in a, in a movie? Drake. No, Mark no. Wahlberg's Nathan. That's the main character. <laughs> yeah, I can't remember what his name is. It, it is it, does it start with an S or a, F or something? I don't know. I thought he was the, the old guy that like brings him along and does shit with him. I haven't seen the game. I haven't played the game, I, so I don't know shit about what I I'm talking just, about. For me, but I to me, it was more the comedy between them that carried the film. But that's all I'll say on that film. Yeah, it wasn't bad, but back on on the Spider-Man topic though, like we can continue talking about that easily. Victor, let's see what it is. Victor, thank you, Lion. Which one is? Who's his guy in cahoots? That's always older. He's like wearing a, wearing a Hawaiian shirts and shit. It's like Samuel or some Frankie, uh, some sure. bullshit. I have no idea. I thought that's who he was. I don't know. Sam, maybe. Um, everybody that actually cares about this game is gonna hate me right now. So I'm just gonna stop talking about it. I'm sorry. Yeah, I. Yeah. <coughs> um, I don't care about Uncharted either. I do want to play it. That's something that I'm going to play eventually. It wasn't. It wasn't videos. bad. There were cool scenes in it, but I think, to me, it's one of those games that I think probably one of those games, one of those films that. Here we go. It set up for a trilogy, and they know they can get another two films out of it easily. I wouldn't optionally watch the first film again. Yeah, like it's not bad, but I wouldn't watch it again. Like, we totally straight off topic with <laughs> the Spider Man thing, though. Uh, let's, let's invite but people from the crew. I've tried. You can try okay. as well. Ah, oh, fuck them now. I can't click invite from crew anyway. Hey, we're level 69. Hey! <laughs> Mark this down in history. Um, Ooh. You were saying how if it weren't for the cameos, that the movie wouldn't have made sense or wouldn't have been good. I don't think it would have been as good of a film. No. And so, I, I know that that's what, that's what the point of the cameos were. Yeah. Right? Like, I, no doubt. But I think if you remove... So, the, Venom was meant to be in a film, by the way. And then only the they end. removed Venom for the sake... He no, would have like stole the show a, uh, from all the others, yeah. I know what you're talking he about. Would, yeah. He, basically, they removed him because he was meant to turn up in you know the bit where Green Goblin nearly kills Thingy. Um what's his name? Uh Toby. Oh yeah. He was On meant to shield? turn up Dan and save his life. Really? Right? Yeah, he was meant like a bit of the something like that. Apparently that's what was meant to happen. Hmm. But then they thought it took away from the scene too much, so they they cut it logically. Well what right? would he have done? Bit his head off. <laughs> like no, like, attached to him to save his life, like the oh. Venom thing did for him <laughs> in the Spider-Man things, right? Yeah, okay. Um, which wouldn't make sense for, for Venom for a start, right? Mm. Um, yeah. But I I think if... Don't get me wrong, there's parts of the film that were brilliant. Like, don't get, superb. I like how it gives and me the And the ending one. is heart-wrenching <laughs> and painful. Let me get uh, yeah, overall the film. And yeah. I think they, the next trilogy they do, which we know they're going to do, is going to be cool because it's starting off basically with the amazing, uh, with the Spider-Man game started off. 
kind of it's, it's almost it's almost right there yeah so it's gonna be pretty cool shit um but i think oh, there's really good parts of the film but i think if if you remove i'm not gonna say if you remove toby and andrew from it but if if you if you do remove toby and andrew from it then it's a bit like so I don't know what we're doing. That's right. In Venom's cameo, a bit of the symbiote did stay in Tom's universe. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We know that. Yeah, that's the end credit scene. Um, this guy. I'm still confused why, <laughs> why they uh, they brought in at the end of Venom two, they brought in Tom's version into the MCU. And then he didn't show up, and then he he's brought right back out. Because his entire arc is, he's brought in at the resort in Mexico, he gets really drunk, gets told about all the superheroes that aren't in his universe, and then he gets sent back. I don't understand the point of that yet. It makes no sense. Uh. So I think... <laughs> I, I don't I don't know what they're doing, but the fact that they've I think they just wanted a reason to have a bit of the symbiote in Yeah. Don't say nothing to the I don't know. That's the only reason. What are we doing? Where are we? Here's the elevator, okay. I think there's a lot of things that don't be wrong, I think what they did incredible film. It I is mean, amazing. Entire, yeah, it is it. completely fan service, right? It is just completely fan service. Which in the is, best way. Yeah. Which, and they've done it brilliantly, but people that think that that, my problem with with it, right, is, isn't so much the fact that I want, I don't know how to word this without it sounding like a, like a bad thing, but Tom Holland has never carried a film. Like... First film, RDJ. Like, I hate yeah. his Spider-Man arc at the moment. Like, all it is is... Don't get me wrong. I like that they've sp they've spread something out. So what they've done is they've made him so independent, uh, so unindependent on people. He's so dependent on so many people around him for the first three films, right? I get that. And now he's set up to go to do a trilogy where he's going to be completely more independent. independent. Yeah. Which but, I think, if you look at it in the way that instead of one movie, each arc, or each movie has yeah. an arc, it's an arc across all three. And now he's completed yeah. that, and now he's which on is, another one. Yeah, which is really smart and good. It's just, for me, I don't know. I was just, a, I was a bit frustrated by the fact that it's not, I would have, I just would have loved for it to have been, he was a bit more dependent, and he just, I don't know. But I understand what you mean when you say that um, he hasn't completely carried any of the movies because if you think about it, like, first one, RDJ, second one was, uh... Doctor Strange and two other Spider-Mans. <laughs> no, the second one was... Why am I blanking on his name? Guy from South Park, Mysterio, what's his name? Oh, uh, Jake General. Thank you! <laughs> I couldn't remember it. Yeah, second one, he stole the show. Third one... You Benedict can kind of say combined with combined with the just other a two. load of cameos like yeah. they all did great though it and... was it was don't get me wrong brilliant film looked awesome was great but people that think that it's a brilliant solo film oh, it's shit. not a solo film in any way shape or form like at all yeah Like it was awesome, and I'm I'm really looking forward to Doctor Strange. Like, yeah. oh my god, I'm looking forward to that. I'm film. actually looking forward to that now, and I mean, even if it, I was looking forward to it anyway. I was looking like, forward to it anyway, specifically because the director. <laughs> but now, Sam Raimi, isn't it? yeah, Sam Raimi's directing it. But now it's like, can I take the cop better. car? No, fuck. Shit, what do we take? Oh, looks like we're shooting our way out then. How does this work? Um, we're just supposed to escape. Weren't our cars over here? Assuming we just walk out. That makes sense. <laughs> Kinda. Not really. 
Walk out across the street, probably getting the getaway cars, I'm assuming. I'm getting in. Never mind. Yeah, we gotta. Why did yeah. that guy just get up? This is not gonna go well. Is this a. Po I've never done this. I have no idea what we're doing. I have no idea. I'm glad I'm not the only one. I've been doing some of the Diamond Casino heists with my friends, so I know how that plays out for the most part now. So I'm proud to say I'm not completely blind. Yeah, in but that. we've already done the Diamond Casino heist. On here? No. Yeah, we'll carry through it. <laughs> okay, well, I don't remember that. <laughs> yeah, we got invited to it and it was sneaky and all we did was basically follow two people. I have no memory of that, but whatever. But I, my point is, I I know what I'm kind of doing now. Jesus Christ. <laughs> Get in. Oh my God. All right, go 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 go. So, like your point with the movie was, if it weren't for the cameos, it wouldn't make sense. And yes, that's right. But the whole story, it's not so it works around it's them. It's just, I think. I think anyone that's trying to say that that is a good standalone film is delusional because it's not a standalone film. Like, it may go down as a Spider-Man film because, well, and technically it still is a Spider-Man film, but it's not a solo film, like, in any way. Like, yeah, you it's can't compare that to, like, Shang-Chi. But... Like, you just can't. Yeah. Like, that is an Avengers-level film. And I... Honestly, if it weren't for all the other characters making the thing work i would have thought that the entire thing that was happening with the multiverse stuff made absolutely no sense yeah. i like more grounded stories that is the entire reason that the first iron man is still my favorite film out of all of them yeah because i like things to be logical and grounded that's why i like yeah. games like call of duty and shit because well the older call of duties like black ops well that's me I right the way the way I'm trying to like look at this film is they're doing three more things again, right? Three more films, right? Yeah. But like, where the fuck do they go from there? Like, the only thing they can say, right, is yeah, he's been to space, but he didn't go to space alone. Yeah, he's fought six people at once, but didn't do it alone. So surely they'll do an actual sense of the six where he has to fight them on his own, right? Yeah. But then, like, I'm gonna die. Yeah. But then where do they go? Where do they go from there? Like, what do they do? Because does this mean now they can't do Green Goblin? Does this mean they can't do, like... Oscorp is not a thing in the MCU, apparently. So I just want to know, now, the only other option for him getting his powers would be Stark Industries. That's the only other option. Unless yeah, you want to put something like Roxxon kind of in there. Into that when it came to, um, what's his name? Um, Mysterio? Otto. Oh. What? Like, because he absorbed the nanotech, didn't he? Yes. But if you look in, back... In the comics, he gets, like, he gets all of that stuff from Stark. I thought it was always Oscorp. I don't know. I haven't really comics. comics. Well, I think it, it might have been Oscorp, but, like, Stark is, like, Iron Man's kind of taken the place of Oscorp in the MCU. Yeah, exactly. But, like... The way I look at it, right, is they can't do Green Goblin in the MCU. Because if Oscorp does become a thing, surely Tom's going to kind of think, oh, because he knows he's, it's Os he ran Oscorp, right? They can't do Otto, because if he meets somebody called Otto Octavius, he's probably going to instantly be like, well, fuck. Yeah, it's going to have to be like another, another thing, like instead of it being Mary Jane, it's Michelle Watson or some shit like that. Why am I calling my mechanic? I want Lester. I already know I can't call Lester. I don't know why I'm trying that. Yeah, like, they're going to have to do something along that. That would but be the also, only way. Like, is it going to have the same effect? Like, he's fought a version of Green Goblin against three other things at the same time. Like, how does he... Like, how do, how do they step it up now? Like, because they've got three think the more point... films to do. If it was just one film, no problem. they got three. I don't think the point is to step it up. I think the point is to reset it, have it more grounded, be on his own. It's kind of like a... A light reset. Same characters, same yeah. world. But it's just him on his own now. 
do you think they'll turn Ned into Hobgoblin? Where are you going? I think it would be... I'm just kind of trying to drive around and see if I can get away from these guys. And I was also coming back to you. Okay, now I might die because of the fact that I wanted to be nice and be a friend. Uh, <laughs> I think it would be a little too predictable on their end to do that. Because, like, everybody who knows anything about this, the characters knows that's a thing. Yeah. I feel like the Flash theory or whatever of him becoming, like, the Harry Osborne of the world is also kind of too predictable. Even though they yeah. kind of hinted at that at, in Far From Home. I'd like to see um, him become, like, an act, like, them actually do something with the fact he can do magic. Oh, <laughs> yeah. No. I'd love to see them actually do something with that. Like, Where? have him end up becoming Doctor Strange's apprentice or something like that. That'd be funny as hell. Where are we going, by the way? from the Doctor Strange um, trailer, oh, I'm adamant that he remembers Peter. He must, surely. Strange? Yeah, or does he just know the, know that he's done a spell but doesn't know what he did? I would imagine that's how it plays out. He, he might just think of it as, I did this for Spider-Man. Yeah. But doesn't remember his identity. I but think like, that's how all of it happened is because, like, everybody knows that some shit happened with Spider-Man. Like, at the... Out of all of it, like, MJ and Ned, like, they know that they were out there with Spider-Man, but they don't know who he is. Because that part of the yeah. memory is just wiped. I think that's how it works. I don't know. I don't it's going to be interesting. I'm excited if they do do another one. Not just because I love the character in the world and the Marvel movies, but because now with it being so grounded they've left... and dark, there's yeah, so like much they've room left for it, it on some sort of like, I want to say cliffhanger, but it's not really a cliffhanger. It's like you can start wherever. It's... You can start anywhere now. Yeah, they've basically just done a complete character reset. Yeah. But it's not a character reset. But like, I feel like what they'll do, right? Did we fail? Guessing you died? No. What happened? Nothing. I didn't die. I was driving on top of a mountain. I saw a waypoint for a second, then it went away. Oh. <laughs> okay. Um. All right. Well. Did I just land there anyway? Accident. Okay. <laughs> I'm not gonna complain. <laughs> all right. We're all with um, it. But for that me. I think if you... Oh, there's just so many things they can do, right? Like, I think if they... In the next trilogy, what the, what they've got to do, 100%, because Tom will finish after this next, these next three, right? Mm -hmm. They will set up Miles Morales, 100%. They have if to. If they don't before. Well, yeah, but they, I mean, he'll actually become a thing. Yeah. Like, they'll bring him in, right? For sure. Like, that's got to be a thing. They've already hinted at it twice. One in Homecoming, yeah. now at the end of uh, Far From Home. Or No Way Home. Yeah. So. I'm also sorry for anybody watching this who doesn't give a shit about these movies, but we do, so suck it up. Yeah, well, it's not like we're talking about The Walking Dead for 10 episodes in a row anymore. That's true. <laughs> it does, it makes me, it makes me giggle when I see <laughs> those comments on the, other videos like even now people coming up with comments like that even though it's been like years that's just funny yeah i mean we did talk about stuff like this when it was end game and i don't think anyone complained about yeah. that they give a shit i just haven't kept up with them for the past few years or so well that's your fault because marvel movies good, are i love them they are my childhood and they make me happy so are you looking forward to Moon Knight? Yes. I've, I my only knowledge of the character is from Spider-Man Web of Shadows, I think the game is, where you can be good or evil with a whole Venom storyline. Yeah. I, he was Rogan, in if that. I watched the second season of Witcher, yes. Have you watched Witcher? I haven't. You should. It's very, very good. I've never played the games. And I've never been that big of a fan I hadn't, of I Henry haven't either, Campbell. bro. Don't worry. Don't need to. So good. 
Never really cared about stuff that Henry Cavill was in or whatever his name is. Bro, trust me, it's but a good show. I've heard it's good. Whoa. I got quite a bit of money. I've almost got $4 million. Mm. I don't know why, <laughs> but I do. Love it when you get 292k and I get 55. <laughs> Ouch. <laughs> Damn. Are we? We're not in the same game. That's a big shame. Wait, are we? God damn it. Pull up the menu. No, we're not. No. Well. I don't know. It's been 15 minutes. I don't know if we'll even load in and get anything done in the time. So. I guess to spend the time decently, you can go over to your business or do whatever you need. And I'm going to go check out my business, see where we're at. Just so I have a little bit of a refresher where we're at. And we can keep this, keep this chat up for now. We're going to yeah. stick around for like another 10 or so minutes for the video. And then we're going to end off around an hour like we usually do. Um, And then we're going to go over to Dying Light. So if you guys watching the videos aren't watching our other videos, like our Dying Light 2 videos that we are doing right now. I've got one going up tomorrow as of recording this. And I think we still have like two or three more hours of footage recorded already outside of what we're going to be doing today. So. We got we got several videos of that. Highly recommend them. Uh, right, let me just go through chat quickly. Uh, what are your thoughts on the ending scene of Witcher Two? Interesting. Love what they're looking at doing. Happy Netflix on ending the season on season two. Uh, season three will be awesome, hundred percent. Uh, Brogan, if you don't mind me asking, is your name also Logan? No, it's not. My name is actually Brogan. <laughs> um, Snowpiercer, actually, if you watch that. Me, no. Very, very good. Highly recommend it. Season 3 is currently being released at, at this moment in time. It's on Netflix. That's in the same Snow world as the movie, right? With Chris... Him, he, he, Chris... Guy. Yeah. No, it's not in the same... It's not the same universe. Is is it like the same kind of... like? It's, story, it's based off the same but... books, yeah. Okay. Um, But it's completely different. Okay. It's really, really good. I'm really enjoying it. Massive fan of the show. But so when season one came out, loved it. Season two, I didn't even know it started being released. My friend just turned around and said, "Oh, it's coming out," because it never really like advertise. Netflix never really advertised when a new show's coming. Mm -hmm. Um, I don't know where it's just there, and then it happened the same with season three. And season three, the next episode's out tomorrow, so every Tuesday. But it's really good. I really like Snowpiercer. Highly recommend that. So if you guys haven't watched, it, if you guys watch this series, um, The Witcher. Really good. You guys should watch it. And Snowpiercer is also really, really good. Nice. Uh, the Witch is more for like the fantasy sort of genre. So like if you like the idea of like, there's a lot of action, uh, but then there's also like, you know, swords, stuff like that. Whereas Snowpiercer is like, Snowpiercer, um, basically Snowpiercer is sat where the world has gone into an ice age and there's a train and everyone lives on the train, basically. Um, but there's like That's a the division of class because there's people are that... left. Yeah, the only people left on the entire planet. So there's like loads of civil wars within the train, deals, things like that. There's loads of stuff. It's really good. Really, really good. It's totally like drama, right? Uh, drama and action. Okay. A lot of gore. A lot of gore in it. Really? <laughs> Yeah, I started. Yeah, I think of... I watched like halfway through of the Snowpiercer movie a few months ago, like back in October, and I got it's, a little bit. Past it's a the lot point. more gory than that. I like, got there's it. <laughs> people, you you will see people that like like there's torture like there's torture scenes and shit in it. Like there's uh, like people that like disobey and stuff. Like they have water poured on their arm, and then they have their arm put outside in oh, yeah, freezing yeah, yeah, yeah. cold, which is like minus fifty degrees Celsius, and then their arm turns like to pure ice and they smash it with a hammer. Yeah, that's like shit movie. like that. Yeah, but I mean, it's, there's a lot more details on that shit. And, okay. You know. Yeah, I saw the part yeah. where it, like it's really good. What was it? Bugs or some shit that the uh, the protein bars are made out of? Like uh, I made it yeah, just. Yeah, that's after not that. in the in the show. Huh. That part grossed me out. <laughs> yeah. It's really good though. If you guys want to know roughly what sort, like what the show could be like, um. I recommend watching the movie 
first, which is like two hours. And then if you guys like the movie or you kind of like, I'm not going to say like the style, but if you like the sort of like drama and intensity of the whole thing of everyone living on a train and like, you get a good idea of what the social divide is like about the tail being people that got on for free and then there's like middle class, third class and all like that. It's a really good way of kind of knowing roughly what it's like without actually getting the commitment of having to watch through the show. But the show is really good. It's like 10 episodes each season. I I, I love it. I think it's great. Uh. Yeah, I don't know. <laughs> uh, I've only heard a few things about it, but I know nothing about the show. show is very good. I prefer the show over the movie. Huh. I only watched the show because I knew the movie because I've watched the film. And the only reason I watched the film was because Chris Evans was in it. Yeah, that's the only reason I've checked it out, really. The vibe mm -hmm. of it reminds me a lot of the way I remember the first Hunger Games being. Yeah. It's, yeah. And I've it's only like seen that. that movie once when it came out when I was 12. So... Yeah, it's like massive struggle for survival sort of thing. I've been contemplating going back and watching all the Hunger Games movies. Same as did Maze it, Runners. I did that last year. I've never watched the Maze Runners things, but it some of the things in that are interesting to me. Like, no, like unknown monsters and other stuff like the zombies or whatever are in it, like catastrophe shit like that. Intrigues That's why me. we like dying light. Yeah. Exactly. Exactly. Was that supposed to be like a segue or what am I missing? No, that was just, that okay. was just me trying to hint at people watching it again. <laughs> Another plug. Yeah. Nice. So I'm restocking. I'm doing a restock thing on my bunker. I changed it to research I'm like everybody says so. Because I now know about how to get the weapons modification thing and all that in the the terabyte or whatever it is so that's i think that's something that i'm going to aim to achieve what in the hell oh shit <laughs> that was close oh uh, oh it's one of these this is gonna end poorly isn't it how am i supposed to blow this up okay can, why can't i roll with a grenade launcher out this is something I should be doing with you. <laughs> I'm realizing this now. There's a lot of shit going on. And I'm probably not going to make out of this alive. If I die enough to fail the mission, then we're just going to end it. I don't really care about completing this that much. So you're just driving around right now? Do you have any any businesses or nothing to check out? Nothing that I can really stock up from my knowledge. What I can't inventory. remember, to be honest. I think I've got the drug businesses nice. and I can't be asked to start the bike, I think. I figured that you would just like check him out and I figured that there was enough time for me to do a simpler restock than this. This is one of the more fun ones, but I thought it would be a more simple one. What is shooting me? Freaking shoppers. Really? This is not simple. This is not cash money. I'm going to die. Does it matter how many? I've seen Last Kingdom. Uh, no. Is that the um? I think I know what what show you're on about. Is that the show? The the main photo of it is that guy that holds the sword that's pushed in the ground. He looks a bit like King Arthur. I'm trying so hard not to die right now. I say as a running. Guns blazing. Oh, this is a. Oh no! If I shoot that, I'm dead. <laughs> I've done this so before. many shows that I want to watch that I could watch on the stream. Okay. Because Prime. Do you know that, by the way? What's that? Um, Twitch has a feature where you can do watch together, right? Where anyone that has their oh yeah, uh, Prime connected to their Twitch, they can watch Prime shows on the stream. Bro, what is Elgato doing? It's what? What? It's about a Saxon lord who was raised by Vikings. Uh, okay, I wouldn't assumed it was. I wouldn't have assumed it was something linked with the Vikings because isn't there another show on Amazon Prime that's like just called the Vikings or something like that? Are they connected at all? Why did it switch my scene on oh God? God damn it! I hate this shit. I'm really glad that I brought up your. <laughs> 
your stream, because man, this video would have gone to shit if I hadn't. It's been a while since we've had recording difficulties, actually, so. I don't even know why this is happening. I. I need money. <laughs> Subscribe so that I can get better equipment so that these videos don't go to shit like this. <laughs> that would be helpful. There we go. Hello. Ish me. Don't jump. Oh my god. It's called Last Kingdom referring to Essex. The Last Kingdom to... Oh. I think to fall. <laughs> oh, Wessex. Oh, okay. I really thought <laughs> I really thought that I was far enough yeah, away. Yeah, well England fell before Wales, I'm pretty sure, so shit country. <sighs> I'm so I actually don't know which rivalry. which fell first, but Wales was basically controlled by England for years. Rivalry. <laughs> I was actually talking about the history of Wales before on a stream, about why the Welsh hate the English. Right? Uh-huh. Uh-huh. And people didn't realize how fucked it was as to why the Welsh hate the English so much, right? Um, it's more turned into more of like a joking, like, oh, fuck you sort of thing, like, thing now. But the reason why there's such rivalry is because England basically used to just rule over Wales. And for years, back in like the 1800s, they made it illegal, well, for years before that, they made it illegal to speak Welsh in wales like in schools and shit and they used to basically beat children that <laughs> would speak welsh jesus yeah they beat the language out of our country <laughs> Jeez. like there's a place in um argentina called patagonia and it's the only other place in the world that speaks welsh apart from wales because basically back in the 1800s loads of welsh people fled Wales in fear of their life because of the language dying because of the English and they moved down to Argentina uh huh mm. history lessons with broken I like it yeah. this is a nice have I told you nice about touch. why the Welsh are called sheep shaggers as well I feel like you have or I've heard it but I don't remember so go ahead I've, pro I've probably Elaborate. told you but I can't remember if I've said on on, on like switches before <laughs> elaborate so basically, back in medieval times, it used to be uh, punishable by death penalty if you stole somebody's flock, right? AKA sheep. Uh -huh. And sheep are like the most common animal in Wales. Um, and basically, if you were found trying to kill a sheep, uh, trying to take somebody's sheep, you were sentenced to death. Whereas if you were found trying to have sex with a sheep, you'd only lose a hand. <laughs> so. Basically, when somebody was trying to steal oh, some yeah. sheep <laughs> yeah. and be caught, they would quickly drop their pants and start fucking it to avoid being murdered. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I remember that part. Which, which I don't understand, right? <laughs> Surely, you've got your face covered. So, in, instead of dropping your trousers to fuck the sheep, surely <laughs> you are smart enough to notice somebody's there to then run instead of start fucking it. You right? think? Why am I spinning out? What the like, hell? I don't know. Um, do you speak Welsh? Uh, I can speak a bit of Welsh. Okay. But only for a minute. okay. <laughs> I'm not. I'm not sure. If, is that an indication you want me to try and speak some? Or? I expected it at least. <laughs> like you just stopped talking. Oh. Um. Mine died egoid. Uh, I feel like that was a slur. Being um, comedy, for hobby I see, and uh, Pelgeloid, uh, uh, like me trying to speak Spanish. Uh, uh rugby. Rugby? <laughs> I just said I'm 22. I live in Wales, and oh my, God. my hobbies are football and rugby. I thought I heard rugby. <laughs> yeah. Dude, what is traffic in this game? Jesus Christ. Uh, mine carry on Ethix. Ethix is your daddy? No, I said I love Ethix. Aww. 
<laughs> Same thing. Puppy? What the shit? What even is that? Is that AI or a person? I'm so confused right now. There's an armored limo kind of thing with a MG on the top and the guy's shooting me. Well, it's not going to be AI then, is it, you drip? But it, it just showed a red circle on it like it wasn't AI. Oh, but it might have been an AI then. All right, you little bitch. <laughs> I'm almost, I'm almost back with the supplies and then I'm done with... I'm done with the video. It's been over our time limit. And also, the Elgato recording has been a shit show. <laughs> oh my god. I'm gonna have a... I'm gonna just... I'm gonna overdose on caffeine at this rate. A little bit of a disclaimer at the beginning of this one, I feel. About... What the hell?! The, the, the video. Dying constantly. Oh, yeah. Well, I mean... Pussyofa. I can probably get away with simply putting on your stream when it's done and then putting captions on, on the video for people to say, like, Hey, recording got messed up. Here's Broken Stream as a backup. Yeah, and then people would be like, Whoa, I should really watch this instead of the actual Rags to Riches. Exactly. And they should like and subscribe or follow and subscribe to your thing. That's how it works, right? Yeah, follow my Twitch and go subscribe to my new YouTube channel, please. I was talking about subscribe to your Twitch so that we actually at least get money. <laughs> That's true, but I'll even take I'll just take subs on YouTube, man. I'll take what I can get. <laughs> I'll take anything, man. Just make me feel wanted and loved, please, chat. Oh. I don't know what that feels like, but it must be nice. Yeah. And it got sad. <laughs> You know, if you weren't a filthy fucking cheat, then you might be able to know what it's like to be loved, but... <sighs> Alright, well... Now that we're... Now that we're on yeah. the sad topics, what... How's life been for you, bud? It's been five months since we talked about anything on, like, videos and stuff, so... What's been going on? Um... Not asking you to get personal, just, like, in general, what's been going on? <laughs> I mean, I, I'm not going to lie, I was about to say something that's true, <laughs> but I don't know if I should say it. <laughs> it's up to you. <laughs> okay, well, my brother has cancer, um, uh, so that's fun. Uh, he had an operation, it went well. That's good. And he's starting radiotherapy in about two weeks' time. Okay. Um, you fuck off. That, that's like, that's kind of like the only big news that's happened in the last like six months. <gasps> I don't, what about you? I don't know how I just did that, but it was awesome. Uh, for me, I I can't remember where I was at like five months ago when we were doing the last video on GTA. But yeah, <laughs> I mean, oh, my voice is back. Your voice is I back. I guess that's a. I don't Shane. know if I was starting or in my film school classes that I was doing, the second round of them that I was doing. Um, uh, you were in them. Just, I you was in them. Oh, actually. I don't think I was in no, them. I, I've spoke to you. I've been playing GTA while I've spoke to you since, haven't I? Because you've been doing yeah. a lot of commuting, haven't you? I was, yeah. So, ah, for a semester, which was four months, uh, I was doing... Once a week classes in Atlanta. So I'm over in the Nashville area. So that's about five hours there. So I was driving almost 12 hours there and back once a week for four months. <laughs> so that that was very exhausting and time consuming. But I did the four, four, uh, four months of classes there. And I was taking classes at some of the studios, some of the actual real movie studios out in Atlanta, which was very cool. Like all Isn't the places. Isn't that where uh, the Walking Dead was from? Yeah. It's so well. Yes and no. The studios I was taking classes at are where movies like Star Wars and Marvel and all that stuff is filmed. Like if you see, oh. if you see better than. Yeah. If you see, like, uh, the the airport fight in Civil War, the yeah. tarmat that they use for that, 
is on the studio lot and you drive by it like oh, where my shit. classes That's mad. so it's it's like really cool to be in that in that area where all my favorite stuff was filmed and then there's like 20 minutes away from there i was staying at a hotel literally run the like a mile away from the classes once a week that's what i was doing uh then 20 minutes down the road is where sonoy is sonoy georgia and that's where the walking dead is filmed that's where alexandria is that's where woodbury was that's where the prison and the farm were and basically everything every location except for like the first season when they were in atlanta at, at the quarry that's where they filmed everything so it's super cool uh to be like where woodbury was and uh norman reedus and the special effects artist the lead guy called greg nicotero his name they have a restaurant together and it's in one of the stores in woodbury and it is literally the best food i've ever had so i would go there almost every week when i went down there it it was the coolest thing like you could go eat at the at the thing and then you could walk outside the walls of alexandria <laughs> it was so cool for me i was so nerdy out the entire time that's one of the coolest things I think I can say that I've experienced in my lifetime for me because I'm such a nerd about that shit. But I'm back now. I'm done with that. And therefore, you've seen a lot more videos coming out on my channel if you follow that stuff. Um, I'm not doing this semester, but next semester I'm thinking about going back. So it's three and in total. And on the third one, I can apply for an internship there at the studio. So hopefully that goes out well. But that's it. That's about all that's going on for me. Um, it is overtime, so we're going to go overhead. Go overhead. We're going to go ahead and go over to Dying Light 2. So if you want to watch those videos, if you're still on the video, go check out Lo Brogan Stream. I almost called you Logan. <laughs> go check out yeah, Brogan I, Streams. Why do people think I'm called Logan? Like, geez. I have a friend named Logan. I don't know. Um, and check out the videos. So thank you guys for watching. Brogan, do you have anything else that you want to say? Um... Uh, check out the Twitch. Check out my YouTube because it's a new channel. Please go sub to it. I need love. Links in the description um, and on the end screen. And and um. <laughs> uh, uh. Let me know what your favorite type of tea is to drink. For I'd it. like to go through that for the next video. I hope to God you're gonna get a whole lot of iced tea with lemon or just like iced sweet tea. <laughs> <laughs> from all the americans here that'd be funny yeah but i just feel like there might be some interesting tea drinkers out there it's true or they'll just go fuck off we drink coffee <laughs> or that but to those i say i hope your toilet bowl l unleashes splatters of residue of your anus back at you as you have your next shit all right, thank you guys for watching. Check out the description. Join the crew in Discord where we talk regularly in the Discord. You can talk with us directly there and follow us on Twitter and subscribe and all that. You know the drill. You've been on YouTube before. You know where to find this shit. Comment and like for the algorithm to help the videos grow. All that good stuff. Thank you for watching. Hope you've enjoyed. Let us know if you want to see more of this in the future. And uh, hopefully we will have the availability and motivation to get back on GTA together. So thank you. Hope to see you in the next one. See you guys in six months. Till then, take care. <laughs> and adios. Amigos. <laughs> <laughs> Just feel like, see you guys in six months, lads. <laughs> That's a good outro. <laughs>